Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do some custom whiteboard art on your world with multiple whiteboards. So this is going to be displaying one image across several different whiteboards. So I'm going to show you how I display my avatar onto six whiteboards. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six whiteboards and I'm going to display my image of my avatar. So to save the image of your avatar, you're just going to want to edit it and click download outfit and then simply save this in wherever. So I'm saving this in a file already. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go over to this website called imagesplitter.net. I will leave a link for this in the description. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click this gray photo and select the image of your avatar or whatever image it is that you want to change. And then go ahead and click upload image. And then you'll take into this page. Now, the first thing that we need to do is set our dimensions for this photo. Now, one whiteboard art, which we are using are the coin whiteboards arts, just to make sure. The sizing of them are 390 by 260. Now, you're gonna wanna go ahead and change them to wherever it may be. So if you only wanna do two whiteboard arts, then double 390 and double 260, and then make that the width and height for your photo. If you wanted to do three of each, times that by three, times that by three, enter them into there, and then do the same process that we're about to do. Since I am doing six whiteboard arts, it's 780 by 780, 780, and you're gonna wanna untick this button by 780. And just to clarify where I got that number from, guys, I'm gonna get my calculator and just explain. So you, I wanna do 390, times two, which is 780, and that is our width, and then our height is, again, 260 times three, which takes us to 780, and that's because I have two whiteboards by three. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and change this to .png, and then click resize image, and this will go ahead and download this, probably into your download file, unless you have set it anywhere else. Once that is done and you are happy, go back to the home page. Now click this gray icon again and re-upload that image that we have just downloaded here. And then click the upload image button. Now you may think this looks a little bit disoriented. Do not worry guys, we will get to that short while later. You're now gonna wanna go ahead and click split image tab. And then you wanna set the amount of rows and columns that you have. So I have two, ro I have two columns three rows. That's because I have two by three. Obviously, if you did more or less, you would change it to your one. I'm now going to go ahead and select PNG again, and then click split image. And then this is going to save it in a zip file on my downloads folder. So if I just click show folder, ta-da! Now you're going to want to right click and you're going to want to extract those files and then extract them to wherever it is that you want to extract them to. And then you will get a folder with the images split out. Now all we need to do is go and compress those images. So go over to compresspng.com. Make sure you're in the PNG tab and click upload files. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select them all and then click enter. Now, while those compress, you can download them all, but when you click that button, it will save them all in a compressed zip file again, and then you have to unzip it, and you do lose a bit of that compression quality. So I'm gonna just download them individually. A lot of people may not like this, but that is just something that I prefer to do. Now, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go back to your world, okay? Now you need to have Fiddler. If you haven't downloaded Fiddler, simply just Google Fiddler. It's the first link in the top of the description on Google and just download it. It's free to download and pretty straightforward to set up. Um, now you're gonna wanna tick enable rules and we're gonna go back to your world and I'm gonna just open up one of the whiteboard arts and I'm just gonna click okay. Now when I go back, we're gonna be looking for this tab which basically says paintboard. And you're gonna to wanna to drag that across to this white space. We're gonna to wanna to delete everything after PNG and everything above or before HTTPS. You're then gonna to wanna to select this down drop arrow and click find file. And you're gonna to wanna to select one of them 
that we've just downloaded off the compression PNG. Now, since I didn't download them all in a file, they've all downloaded separately here, as you guys can see. Select the one that you want, click OK, hit that Save button, and then go back into your world. Now, you're going to double click on that same whiteboard art, or whiteboard, should I say, and then you're going to want to click Cancel. Okay? Then you're going to want to go back to Fiddler and untick Enable Rules. Go back to your world, click that same whiteboard, and then click OK. Now, a couple of seconds, and then that should reappear and flash. And then we know that is saved for when we refresh. Go back to Fiddler, click Enable Rules, go back to your world, click the next whiteboard, click OK, go back, then drag the next one across into the white space, delete everything after PNG, delete everything before HTTPS, then you're going to want to go ahead, click find file, click the next photo, make sure you're still enabling rules, make sure you're still saving, go back, click the whiteboard, click cancel, click and untick enable rules, then go back, double click and then click OK, couple of seconds and then it should reappear. Obviously my whiteboards aren't lined up correctly so they look a little bit wonky. Now you're going to want to go ahead and do the same thing for the next four whiteboards. So I'm just going to fast forward this process for you guys. And there we go guys, so now I have my avatar on my whiteboard, obviously they are not correctly lined up just because I was rushing to make this video, so now I would technically go back into my inventory and make sure all the boards are lined up correctly and it would look brilliant. Make sure that once you're happy, close down Fiddler, close down everything else, and then I'm simply just going to refresh your world just so you guys can double see that this has saved in my browser. When your world decides to load. Do, 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 do. There we go, guys. And that is it. So if you guys get stuck or you need any help or advice with the sizing and how many boards to use and what measurements to use, just drop a question down below and I'll be sure to help you. If you're interested in just doing one whiteboard art, then be sure to check out this video. I will leave a link to that down below as well. Let me know if this has all helped you. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.